Welcome to the DOS keyboard. This is the ultimate S. The DOS keyboard by Metadot comes in four different configurations, at least at the time of filming this video. There is a clicky version and then a less clicky version. So if you guys are familiar with mechanical keyboards, you know what clicky is. Personally, I'm a clicky guy. Not everyone is. Some people have, you know, sleeping babies nearby or annoyed coworkers nearby and they, even if they want a clicky keyboard, they can't have one. So there's that. And then they have the professional and the ultimate edition. This one right here is the clicky ultimate edition keyboard. And what makes it ultimate? Well, you guys will find out shortly because there are quite a few things about this keyboard that I personally think make it ultimate um, that are not necessarily the reason for the name. So it comes with a little cleaning cloth. That's not very ultimate. Don't worry about that. Uh, it is fully compatible with Windows, Mac, and Linux. In fact, you can even buy little uh, key set kits that will change your Windows keys over to uh, option keys if you want. All right. Moving right along, let's see what Metadot has to say for themselves on the back of the key, or on the back of the keyboard, on the back of the box here. <clears throat> Mechanical key switches for maximum speed and comfort. This is true. In fact, if you go to the DAS keyboard website, they have a cool little typing test where you can compete and race with people in real time. And people are on there all the time. I actually wasted like two hours on it one night when I was like, oh, this is neat. So it just automatically starts a new race and grabs whoever's like, like on there, and then you just race against each other. And it records your average words per minute and all of that cool stuff. So um, I tested that with a mechanical keyboard, not one of these. This is my first DAS keyboard, although I've played with them before. Um, I was testing a mechanical keyboard versus a Logitech G15, so a, you know, a good membrane keyboard. And what I found for myself was I was about 15% faster with a mechanical keyboard. My wife, who has long pianist fingers, was about 20% faster on her mechanical keyboard, which is not even a great typing keyboard. Uh, I'm not going to name any names, but it was mechanical. She found she was about 20% faster than she was on a membrane keyboard. So yes, it is faster and it is more comfortable. This is not open for debate. Uh, uses the most advanced German engineered gold plated and slightly click clicky mechanical key switches available in the industry. Full end key rollover means even if you type with your face, you won't accidentally press anything and it will register every keystroke. Avoiding key jamming. I think that was more of a problem on typewriters. However, it is still valid on keyboards because it can you can run into issues on poorly made and poorly designed keyboards with that. Great multi-purpose keyboard for fast typists and gamers alike, and just general elitists for this particular one, and I'll explain why. High-speed USB 2.0 hub, very cool. Extra long cable, got it. Okay, got all that, got all that, and that's what Daniel Gramwer, Gramwer, okay, Daniel. If you type eight hours a day, it might be as well be on the best available keyboard. I initially created this uncompromising keyboard for myself, and now I'm excited to share it with you. What makes it ultimate? No way! No key labels whatsoever. So unless you are elite typist, you cannot use this keyboard. That's right. It has a built-in exclusion of people who aren't as good at typing as you are factor built right into it. No one can sit down at your computer and use it unless they bring their own keyboard. <laughs> awesome. All right. So. Build quality. Yes, most mechanical keyboards, because they are intended to be sold at a higher price, are built just plain better than most membrane keyboards. This has always been true. No, this is not a Model M. However, this is pretty much as good as it's going to get today. Uh, in terms of the layout, <laughs> okay, so you can see we've got a pretty standard layout. You've got your escape key, your function keys, you've got your tilde, your numbers, your backspace, your enter, your shift, your other shift. Everything is correctly laid out as your Windows keys, and there are no sort of extra things thrown in, you know, short backspace, short shift. Personally, I find this to be the ideal keyboard layout. You've got a couple keys that are slightly different from the other ones. There's your dots for your home row. So. I mean, you probably type without looking at your keyboard anyway if you're getting one of these. Um, but, you know, that'll help you find your home row. You've also got a dot in the middle on the five of the number pad so that you will also be able to find your home position on the number pad itself. Now, why does it do the cleaning cloth? Because it does have a glossy surface, so not everyone's the biggest fan in the world of glossy, but it does make it look quite nice. You know what? Let me go find a keycap remover. 
and uh, I will take off one of the caps and show you guys the mechanical switches. So we removed one of the keycaps. Actually, one of the things I like about this keyboard versus one of the other mechanical keyboards that I have is that the keys are a little bit difficult to remove. So uh, uh, one of the ones I have, keys will actually pop off while you're typing sometimes. Yeah, that's on the, uh, uh, the one I, uh, my wife uses. Sorry guys, I'm just talking to Slick. Um, so yeah, that's sort of inconvenient. In fact, once I was cleaning her keyboard and I was like vacuuming it to get the dust out from in between the keys, I vacuumed up a key, which wouldn't even have been that bad if I'd been using like a portable vac, but I was using a built-in vac. So I had to go all the way down to the garage, pull the entire full reservoir off of it, and dig through like years of dead skin cell accumulation and dog hair to find the key. So anyway, long story short, it's good that the keys stay on. <laughs> um, Moving right along. Right, blue keys. So I think it is fairly um, optimistic of Das Keyboard to say that they're slightly clicky because blue keys, blue key switches are extremely clicky and they're my favorites because they feel so good to type on. And uh, here we go. Blue keys are, oh, whoops, <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, blue keys are generally the preferred key, key, uh, key switches of typists. However, there's no reason that gamers wouldn't also enjoy them as well. Personally, I don't find that the keycaps make much of a difference to the gaming experience, whereas with typing, it is night and day. It's night and day going from membrane to mechanical, and then it's night and day going from any mechanical keyboard to the one that really suits your style the best. So what makes them clicky is the fact that they are... Okay, they, like, they, reach, a, they reach a threshold point here. I'm getting really close. So no noise here, then you reach a threshold. That is where the key actuates, and then it has some more travel down to the base. So you actually don't even have to fully depress them in order to type comfortably on it, but if you want to, you can bottom them out as well. So if you have a neighbor who doesn't want to listen to you typing all the time, this is not the keyboard for you, but I say get it anyway because it's really comfortable and really awesome and you know, who cares what they think anyway. So thank you for checking out my unboxing of what I personally believe is, like I said, the ultimate elitist keyboard. Um, the DOS keyboard ultimate. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. And we've also got high quality rubber pieces on the bottom of the keyboard that will keep it from slipping and going anywhere should you decide to elevate a little bit or should you decide to not do that. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips. I forgot to mention guys, it does come with a USB to PS2 adapter. Don't forget there are two USB plugs at the end, one for the hub, one for the keyboard functionality itself.